Hi, I want to introduce our Crosstox column to you, which is designed for multi-microtoxin analysis. Up to 16 different microtoxins could be analyzed using this uh, cleanup column in combination with the LCMS. But we started to establish the multi-microtoxin analysis in our lab using the LCMS. We used the dilute and shoot approach for the extraction and more or less cleanup of the sample. But the dilute and shoot approach needs a lot of internal standards to compensate matrix impurities and interferences in the LCMS and furthermore transfer a lot of impurities and dirt into the LCMS which leads to a massive downtime of the analytical device and need a lot of manpower and loss of analytical time for the cleaning of the device. From after the extraction you put the sample into a standard syringe and normally transfer it through a regular syringe filter into your vial of purpose um, to put it into the LCMS. Now we design the crosstox column and skip the syringe filter by the cross, crosstox column and due to the SPE material in the crosstox uh, column you could easily transfer your sample from the syringe through the column into the vial and clean your sample, get rid of most of the impurities, all turbidities and many matrix interferences and in combination to the crude extract you see a nice cleaning of the sample and so you can put this directly into your LCMS. You have less matrix impurities, less interferences in the LCMS, you reduce the downtime of the LCMS device dramatically and you save a lot of money and internal standards because you do not have to compensate for all matrices, all different analytes. As you can see in the chromatogram, the matrix reduction and the matrix interfering substances which is shown in red in comparison to the sample which is cleaned up using the crosstox column where less impurities are shown in the UV chromatogram so you get a more pure sample and less dirt which is transferred into the LCMS sticks to the sweep cone or is accumulated in the F lens or Q1 to Q3 so the maintenance time you need for cleaning the LCMS is dramatically reduced the throughput for the LCMS analysis could be increased and overall you have not only time but money saving um, product if you are using the crosstox in com comparison to the traditional diluted tube approach. A further possible application is the um, implementation of the column in the freestyle SPE system where you can automatically uh, operate the column and prepare the sample for the LCMS. This could be combined with a direct injection module so you get a 24-7 days per week full automatic mycotoxin analysis around the clock um, and due to the purity of the sample you have a reduced cost not only saving standards but also saving that time of your LCMS analysis which need not to be cleaned so often as if you use the traditional or standard dilute and shoot application. Thank you very much for your attention and please have a look on our website www.lctech.de and if you need further information or uh, application for this crosstox column please contact me um, on my email address. Thank you very much.